Hi Vio, I welcome you to Erin TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through Mathematics Form 3, Lesson 23. The topic it is Commercial Arithmetic 2. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mobile. Welcome. Uh, we start by looking at our lesson course today. We are going to look at appreciation. How do we get the appreciation and depreciation? The first thing you are going to look at it is what they are. What is their meaning? When I talk about depreciation, it is the loss of value of an asset with the time. For example, if I tell you buy a car today, it depreciates. It value. It keep on depreciating it value. Appreciation. It is the gain of value of an asset with time. For example, if I tell you buy a piece of land today, it keeps on appreciating even if it means you sell it the next day. It will have appreciated. So with that, that is the reason as to why you can see the formula that we use for the appreciation and depreciation are tidy. For the depreciation, you can see the sign is negative, while for the appreciation, you can be able to see the sign it is a positive. So that is the only difference in their formula. So we can take examples. I do start by appreciation. We have the initial cost of a ranch is 5 million. At the end of the each year, the land increased, increases by 2%. It value increases by 2%. What will, the, will be the value of the land at the end of the third year? So in that case, we put it mathematically. Uh, we have the principal, it is 5 million. Then we have the rate, it is 2%. Then we have the N, which is the time, it's supposed to be 3. So in that case, after replacing them in the formula, you are going to get amount is equal to 5 million. You open the bracket, 1 plus 2 divided by 100, raised to power 3. So in that case, after calculating, you are going to get the amount goes to the 5 million, 306,014. So that is the way we get the appreciated, appre, uh, the value after it has appreciated. Get the example too. The cost of an article is 1,200. Find the rate of the inflation of the cost of the article after five years is 1,932. So in this case, we have the amount, we have the time, that is the end. We also have the principle. What we lack here, it is the rate. That is the reason as to why you can see in our formula, after repressing, we don't have the R. And that is what you are expecting to calculate. So the first thing, it is uh, solving that, and after that, we get 1.10 is equal to 1 plus R divided by 100. So in that case, you get is supposed to be 0 0.10 is equal to the rate divided by 100. After multiplying by 100, you are going to get rate is equal to 10%. So that is how we get appreciation. The rates when we have appreciation. Let us take the next example. Still on the side of appreciation. The Jones family purchased a house five years ago at 245,000 US dollars. The house is now worth that 328,000. Assuming a steady annual percentage growth rate, 
what was the approximate, approximate yearly appreciation rate? So we still use the formula. So we have it there. 328,000 is equal to the 245,000, which is the principal. Then we open the bracket 1 plus R raised to power 5. So in that case, you get the rate as 6%. We go to depreciation. Before we go to depreciation, there is also another example here. At the end of the year 2000, the population of our center was 30,000. What was the population of this center at the beginning of 1997 if the growth rate was 3%? So we just replace them. You are going to get the population that time was 26,655. We go to depreciation. A school van was bought at 150,000. Each year, its value decreases by 10%. Find its value after the second and third year. After the second, the third year. You can be able to get, it's supposed to be the principal, time it is three after the third year. Uh, where now we are getting, it's supposed to be 109,350. For the second year, instead of three there, we raise it by two. So you can be able to see how easy is mathematics. Activity, example five. You are going to do this one as an activity. A car which costs 200,000 depreciates in value at a rate of 5% every six months. Find it value after four years. You can visit KRB 2003 Secondary Mathematics Student Book 3, that edition. For more information, you can get us from, through the SMS. You can also get us from the YouTube. You can get us from the Facebook. You can also get us through Twitter links. Stay tuned to TV.